Hey yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Except it's not. It's like, hello Despair. Come over here. Give me a hug Despair. I love you. That's what it really should be called. That that entire thing. That's the name. If you missed last episode, we just did. I believe it was the fourth class trial and someone that I really did not expect to die, died. And uh, it was the, by far, the saddest death uh, <laughs> that I think we've ever seen on Dog and Rapa. Honestly, if you missed it, here's the thumbnail. Check it out if you missed it. But either way, now we're gonna talk about it. But first, let me become a Dog and Rapa main character. There. I have a a a how a how get how do you call it? <laughs> now I just need to wake up. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Why are all these girls around me? And what the heck is that? A bear? Oh, it's not sticking out. It's not really sticking out very good. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't know the new Dog of Rapa game was out. The live action. The live action is here, guys. Cast me for the live action. So, yo, you guys also told me, or someone pointed out in the comments that, uh, when, um, Gundam was being, like, you know, killed, he was- I thought he was doing magic to maybe protect himself, but he was doing magic to protect his hamsters. That is- uh And when I read that, I was like, oh, how come I didn't notice that? That just makes it even more sad. So he protected his hamsters. I wonder if they will survive throughout the entire game. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with all of us gathering at the restaurants. Crap, that means another island. The last island is gonna be unlocked now, right? I feel like there was a lot that we didn't do on that island. I wonder. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes you realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There's less than half of us here now that there were at the beginning. Whoa! Oh my! Did you hear something? It's Nekomaru! It was Coach Nekomaru's voice! Uh, what are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? <laughs> I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. More importantly? Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable te Teru Teru was. <laughs> uh, don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important. All right. This is it. Did he revive him? It took me all night to make it. My. Is that a Nekomaru doll? <laughs> Minimaru, Nekomaru's alive? What? He's so cute now. Minimaru? It took some parts for him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't uh, have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Uh, oh. Are you serious? Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. I never said anything about giving it away. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa, Whoa hey now. That's a bully logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Mm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. Okay, so he's not really alive. But isn't this exactly what happened to Chihiro? We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> of course. They always do something to make me, like, regret hoping that they would die. <laughs> I mean, someone's gotta do it, right? In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Uh, what do you think of my little pep talk? Oh, my. Oh, did you say something? <laughs> <Are> you <kidding laughs> Uh, he simps and he simps and he simps, but it goes nowhere. I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, uh, Kazuichi. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I mean, he's a pretty good guy for doing something like that. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to message your or massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Serious? Uh, that's amazing. Of course. I made it after all. <laughs> Uh, seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> oh, yeah, now he's on his high horse and he's all mighty, high and mighty now. Because he knows things. Okay. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Freaking hate that guy. You don't have to worry about that guy. He goes all solo all the freaking time. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class, class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bad. But he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey. Then, uh, that's even more reason we should avoid him. I mean, you guys literally tied him up before. Like, you should have known to never, uh, release him. But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? I know they couldn't do that, but that's the same. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us about what that was all about? That? 
you know what Nagito said during the trial? What about the, the whole talent? Yeah, probably. What did he mean by except for Hajime? Are you really the traitor after all? Uh, no, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. I tell you guys the truth, and like the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student for the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently I'm just a normal person. Hm. Is that all? Uh, that's it, dude? Don't ever scare me like that. It's not something that I could just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope Speak Academy because I had talent all along. But crap! <laughs> my whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself, and I thought about getting into Hope Speak Academy meant I had finally become someone I'm proud of, not some freaking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're the from the reserve department. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you're our friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan: Listen. "Fear is grateful for the danger." I don't know that 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 phrase. Hey. The heck? What? You're saying that all wrong. Oh, oh! Are you okay, Monami? It was a real close battle. So, okay, she obviously must have got to the new island. I, am sorry. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is hard to say sometimes. I like they just completely ignore Monami. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Hmm? Ah, you saw me. That's right. The Mono Beast this time was very strong. Yeah. Bro, still get close to me. Get out of here. No gratitude. I'm being treated like Phil. Hey, hey. hey, why don't you clean that blood off here? We're trying to eat. <laughs> I'm, I'm shaming it myself. <laughs> there we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been, been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh. Seriously, there was so much that was not explored in the other island. Like, we didn't even go to the castle. We didn't go to the to the uh, Mono, Mono, Monami's house. Yeah, I see. Uh, what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from all you can eat restaurants. Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true. I don't really expect much. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, stupid. Huh? <laughs> what, what? Assuming we were thinking about running away, uh, was a mistake because if we can't run we'll fight I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow Fight seriously that fearsome group is called world ender for a reason, you know Why you did you forget what you said earlier? I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia Don't brag about that Settle down if you have the power to fight amongst yourselves to direct that power towards our enemy I like how she literally just like no matter if she hears it out loud. She will not even acknowledge Poor Kazuichi. Now then, let us go forth. Offense, offense is the best defense. Yeah, right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Mm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right, All right I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. The Future Foundation, up. Monokuma, Monami, I'll crush them all at once. Yes. Even me? Crap, is this really all of us? I didn't realize how, like, people, how many people are actually left. Oh no, what about my pet? <laughs> it's dead. It's, it's, oh, it's alive. Oh, what a surprise. Here you go, buddy. Here's some chocolate chip jerky. I mean, you, you better, yeah, you better be happy. I've only given all of my other pets anim or animals water. You guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friends too, you know. You're right. Then I gotta do my best too. All right, bring it on, guys. Come on, we gotta see this new island. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department, and that filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I try not to think about it. I try to stay focused on moving forward. Ooh. What is that? It's like a factory? Smile at hope in the name of despair. Chapter five, guys. With the monobies gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived in the final island. Whoa, that looks kind of cool. A little depressing, but kind of cool. Enormous buildings towered everywhere as if the entire island were uh, one gigantic city. We've, it felt very sci-fi as though the island was a snapshot of the urban metropolis from the I near guess future. It has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Yeah, good point. Is that a helicopter? Vendor Street? Oh, they serve some ramen up in here? Ramen does sound pretty good though. All right, let's go to the Vendor Street. We'll just go, you know, like we usually do. Hey, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> What the heck? I have so many Monokuma coins. You guys probably don't know this unless you own the game, but you can actually use the Monokuma coins to buy art and things like that. Like, really cool stuff that I'm gonna check out after we beat this game. I'm gonna make an episode just checking out, like, a lot of stuff. 
that we wouldn't get to see, you know, that we don't get to see the story. Like, it's really cool. Like, in the first game, I, I checked it out and I, uh, it showed the prototype of Monokuma and it looked really, like, crazy. Like, just a lot of cool art and things like that. So, that's what I plan on doing with my coins whenever we're done. And also, I'm going to look at everyone's, like, side events, or at least the people that I want to see. I was wondering who was lured here by the smell, and I expected Akane, though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway. Looks like the street is full of vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. It reminds me of Spirited Away. I actually don't mind places like this. It takes me back to when I would gather earnings. Earnings? Nothing. It's nothing. People who live honest lives are better off not knowing. I'm guessing you probably collect money from people. Okay, so I don't know what we could possibly do there. All right, let's check out the factory. Well, I, I'd imagine Monokuma has something to do with this, but I don't know what would tell me that. Chiaki. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory. Hajime. Good timing. What's up, Chiaki? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, yeah. but since it cl clearly looks suspicious, I thought it, I'd be, it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Mm, I'm surprised she didn't say okay. What are you, why are you hesitating? Because I'm telling you guys, she's the traitor. She gives off these uh, things that she doesn't want us to go with her. All right, then I'm going inside. Plushy factory? That's where he, this is where he puts these things. What the heck is this? Are those trees? What was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma? Oh, now you follow it along. She's just staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. Well, it's obvious, I suppose. Uh -huh. Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Uh -huh. Like this one game where you can just put caps on pins or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. It sounds like awful games. Is that even fun? She likes some boring games. She's like plays games on a calculator. Oh, so the coconut trees are what gets turned into the Monokuma? What the heck? That's weird. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see, so these are plushies. I want one. Monokuma plushies, uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. So the thing is guys, I actually had a Monokuma plushie that one of you subscribers actually gave to me. And uh, I, I ended up giving it away. And the only reason is because I never thought I was ever gonna play Danganronpa. And like it was a really nice gesture, but I just didn't know what it was. So I gave it away to, uh, I don't know, I forget, but gave it away to somebody. I think it was either another fan. I think I may have given it away to one of you guys in like a giveaway or something. Because you know, I, I had so much stuff that I didn't want to like keep a lot of clutter uh, clutter around. But now I really wish I would have kept it. Uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too, but unlike him, there are probably uh, actual plushies. Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Life-size? I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. Whoever survives this should get a plushie. That should be their prize. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? Uh, there's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. What should we do? Honestly, I don't really feel like going. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right, then we should go there for just a little while. Dang, he's got a whole operation over here. Without thinking, I peeked into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar! First, there was a Monokuma archive in the funhouse, now there's a plushy factory and all the goods? How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot pop popularity doesn't last forever, I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. Dang it, I need to make those scrub plushies fast. <laughs> I really do want to make them, guys. That's it. Soon. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. It's like I can tell from the ambience that there's a there are no important clues here. Well, at least we confirmed that. Uh, that's a clue if I've ever seen one. Hand trucks are never good in this game. A body will be on that. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I want one of those! Oh my god! I want it all! I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Uh, then they'd stand out, you know. No store would sell your stuff. You so <laughs> of course not! Good. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. And now, Farbuddy, you have no business sense anyway, so just stop it. No. 
Hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs. We're in the 90s. I like how like the game is like just saying they want to sell their own merch. Uh, don't you remember how long these stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. Because there's no merch of me! <laughs> oh, Monami, my little sister, don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tor tortoise? As long- a long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Two old guys living together? The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears, the end. <laughs> Did you even need the old guys in that story? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. Oh uh, yeah, well that story really could you know, conveyed it to me. I understand it perfectly. Rabbits suck. The old guy said it. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one uh, ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I love we got the JoJo references in here. Oh, she's trash. She never says ouch. She just like I'm being tortured, but honestly, I can't help but feel like I've made too many panels So whoever wants to decorate the room, uh, please do it as much as you like. Hey, send them my way spike chunks off Hey, hey, you you want to you want to promote some merch, you know? Hey, send it my way I think I think I'll hang on to it for you. Just saying, you know, got any life-size uh, cutouts of Aoi, Akane even, yeah, maybe Mukan. Saying, how about body pillows? I'll take, <laughs> they're gonna send me one of Sakura. <laughs> I mean, that's fine too. I love bulgy muscles. Hajime, let's run. You're right. <laughs> He's trying to give us merch so we can run away. That was the scariest part of the game so far, guys. It's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right. There are never hints in obvious, uh, obviously suspicious places. Anyone who looks obvious, uh, at least suspicious, isn't the killer. That's usually the norm. Yeah, but the game knows that. Then they'll say, then they'll make the obvious one the killer. So, all right. Well, moving on, guys. What do we have here? The uh, military base. Why does that have that star on it? Is it like a Russian thing, or am I wrong? Whoa, are those like helicopters, but without the propellers? Hmm, that thing's over there. Oh dang, a tank. Is it real? Not just that, there are a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Hey, Akane. This place is boring. What are you talking about? There's a tank here. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Oh, it's a good thing I'm working out. It's a good thing. It's a good thing working out. A real man fights with his fists. That goes for women, too. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boot pillows. <laughs> no, thanks. Boot pillows. All right, Sonya, what do you got? This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather exp uh, extensive. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh, really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate operate a tank, no problemo. What? Of course, in Modern Warfare is, is a required class in all of our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this, Sonya's country never ceases to baffle me. She's definitely weird. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, there's nothing more than scrap metal. Are there no, nothing more than scrap metal? You're right, unfortunately, the stuff in the base probably won't be useful Please to us. Wait. No, that is wrong. Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator seat. Oh, Mar it says Mirai. There's a... That's the future foundation insignia. Jabberwock Island's development plan. What is this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you really think it could be useful? a uh, useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it like you said. It's hard to know how much we can trust. So what does it say? Beyond what is written here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at a considerable length. What is the plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island uh, was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Islands uh, went bankrupt, bankrupt, so the island was inhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a, a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was inhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here uh, would have been way too attentive. The items in the supermarket were always stocked and the hotel is really clean. Could that the future foundation's responsibility? Did we find a typo? 
a typo or rather mystical word but more importantly what's the incident what does it mean that the island was unaffected by it or what does it mean i can't discern uh that from the passage alone simply reading this will not help me grasp the, uh, what those words well? mean However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you think that the guidebook to Jabberwock Island is in the library? Or do you remember it? I'm stupid. The Citra Island houses a large administrative building. However, we cannot find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? But according to this plan, the building that was the that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters, could it be that's the same building? They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Dang it, what the heck is going on? We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other, we might have overlooked a, my, a more pressing issue, and that is the mystery of this island. What's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense no matter how much we think about it. There's no reason behind it. All right, I want to check out this helicopter. Oh, no, those are blades. I they, I thought they were not there, but they are there. What I have a feeling that Monokuma will be in this helicopter by the end of this episode. Oh! That was what was used to... Okay, I remember that. So, like, he really does keep all those things somewhere. Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but it, I just ended up hurting my fist. Oh, he punched the helicopter? Dang it, I'm so weak. All right, what about the truck? Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape the island by driving off of it. Dang, it's just like freaking uh, RPGs. Oh, I spy a Monokuma. Firearms, and there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons like guns and anti-tank rockets carelessly stacked in there. Is it really all right to handle these so carelessly? He's watching us from afar. Okay, okay. Whoa, okay, this looks like a place you'd really love. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up all in the directions. It feels like very sci-fi. Hmm. Seeking Industries. They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electronic uh, insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like they're a research of a facility. For a mid-sized company, this is pretty nice facility. Uh. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? The company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Well, obviously they're making the Mono Beast. They're rebuilding it right now! He's right, it's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. So, is this actually where things are being built that Monokuma uses? Because, like, I always wondered, like, where did all of it come from? Like, all the stuff that he did, or he or she, I guess she, because it was, you know. But, yeah, I wonder where it all came from. Maybe this is it. Hey, Kazumichi, get older yourself! Why? Because it's just starting- you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there. I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using the computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of those story ideas to his buddies. It was such a horrible delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea from the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Oh, that sounds like a hilarious story. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society? Ooh, it's sounding so close to reality. Until so eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Uh, footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents started occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety inst uh, instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. Into the world. I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story idea because it wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to just say that it's a made-up story? <laughs> of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... There's no way that this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just writing in it. Hey, Got that notebook. Or... <laughs> the notebook reference, imagine. That was the actual story of the movie, The Notebook. Whoever wrote this has good taste. Death Note is amazing. You're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things that uh, have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could happen. We still don't know 
this far into the second game if all of that is even true or not. We just have to assume it is. I need answers and I need them now. And also, you can't hide from me. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? It's like a person. Oh, someone's a robot. That is very suspicious, guys. Okay, which one of you is a robot? Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Serious? Seriously, how can they make robots? <gasps> Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekamara was made here? That was close. Oh, duh. Yeah, that's really obvious. It's a, it's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. That's obviously a Mana Beast. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, yeah, they figured it out. Were they created here? The Mana Beasts were created here? Yep, that's what this place is for. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convicted or convinced that a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong what the heck did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. After this island uh, became uninhibited, it and inhabited it. Uh, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's that's the reason. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Maybe there's a bunch of crazy crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those freaking B words. Get off watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, I mean if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of these rich perverted B. That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. All right, enough of that. Next. Yo. Hmm. Hey, Ajime, I was looking for you. What's up with you, Hiko? Yeah. I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I think I've explored everywhere. Damn right. Then do you want to meet up at everyone uh, with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if you all went back to the hotel for the, uh, like this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, he left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that? Huh. Well, now's not the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make others wait, so I should go. We're all here. Huh. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Uh, what about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him, so I don't know where the heck he is or what he's now... doing. So, how did it go? How did you learn... Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Mm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is, uh, believable, if any. However, I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Are we sure about that? Huh? Uh, are you saying- what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, then there's no way he'd trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. And even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They're, they clearly hate each other. <laughs> Then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally. Please wait. Even if they both oppose each other, is it not possible that they're both our enemy? Like a three-way battle, that's kind of hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor? Damn it. Don't be a freaking idiot. I won't be no way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Kazumichi Soda, shut up! <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Uh, there's never, there never was a traitor, Monokuma lied to us. Oh. If all the things are repeating from last game, then there's definitely a traitor. It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. How could you not believe- <laughs> Insolent fool. How could you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? Weak. How weak. Oh, I wonder who this could be. There's my favorite character. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito? All right, you just have to steal the show. Where have you been this whole time? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys kept running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Speaking of hamsters, where are they? Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? That is... What does that... Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well, well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? 
I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. From the first game? Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Oh, I really hope we find one of them. That would be so cool. Are you talking about Biakia? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see you guys have already reached that stage. <sighs> what stage? You're not making any sense at all. Sense. Hey, even he knows. He ain't even alive. Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Biakia, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? <gasps> what does that mean? The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Biakia dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. Aw, oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys could even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful on its own in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you mean? <laughs> Curious, are you? Why don't I tell you guys after we found out who the traitor is, huh? Actually. What is he saying like that Biakia is alive or something? Because he was talking about, right? Because look, we, we said that he's alive. He's saying he'll show up. And then we said it's Biakia, right? And he said, I see you guys have reached that stage. So is, is he actually still alive? And does that make him the traitor then? And if that did make him the traitor and he is still alive, then that means that... Most likely, either Monami or Monokuma is actually controlled by one of them. And it's kind of like what I was thinking it might happen in the game. Which, like, we're being all- we're all forced to do this, but for a good cause rather than a bad cause like the first game. Because we don't know who's controlling Monokuma. Even though Monokuma looks and sounds the same from the bear point of, you know, from the bears. Because he's a bear, he looks the same. But we don't know who's controlling him. We know he is being controlled. But it could be by- you know, one of the people from the first game. They're trying to do something good. Although, you know, I came up with all these theories in the first game too, but then I was sorely mistaken when I found out all the people that died actually did die. So anyway, that's my theory for now. To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. Oh, well, that kind of answers it. But it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? As I already said, there is no traitor. I get... I bet in the end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi, but why would I- But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? Will I become the ultimate hope? Isn't that his goal? What the heck are you talking about? Have you finally lost your dang mind? I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> Tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Just this once. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Be? Nagito, what does that mean? Bye now. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding? A kill? Who is he going to kill? Based on uh, what he was talking about, it sounds like his target is the traitor. Wait, wait. There's no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along? I will never, ever believe that unless it's you. <laughs> like Sonia said, I can't believe it either, but I don't want to think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagi Nagito? What if whoever it ha it has forgotten about it? What, what was that sentence? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot I don't have a talent. Uh. Oh, good point. Good point. Well, regardless of who's he who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? Then we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. That's it's impossible. Nekomaru's not even here anymore. I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. <laughs> Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with the plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. It's okay, so they're gonna tie him up again. I'll do Nekomaru's share of the grunt, grunt work. I'm pretty confident about my strength. As long as nobody grabs my tail, there won't be any problems. You have a tail? You. Obviously, I'm joking. <laughs> don't be, <laughs> don't be thinking stuff like that. If you want to see a tail, I got one. If you grab it, it'll get even more powerful. 
That's a terrible joke. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the plan to capture Nagito, huh? Akane looked pretty confident, but is she really gonna be all right? I mean, she's strong, but Nagito is, you know, unpredictable. You're right, but I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If Nakamura was still here, uh, would he let Akane go through with this? Uh, actually, he'd probably get pumped up about our capturing plot along with her. You know, he did capture him once before. Yep. And Kazuichi helped him that time, too. It feels like Gundam and Nakamura are scolding us for not growing at all. Maybe. Alright, so this isn't free time, so I don't know what it wants us to do. I'm just kind of talking. I talked to Fuyuhiko. He says, even her ignorance has a limit. It's Sonia. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. Your body? Don't think about weird things. It wasn't like that. I don't know where she heard it from, but she came up to me and said, real Yakuza are supposed to have tattoos to show, them, to show them to me. Oh, so that's what it was. It's not funny for her to tell me to strip right in front of her. What does she think she is? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at. Does he really have tattoos? I ain't gonna lie, dude. I kind of want to see it too. Take off your shirt. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. Alive, alive for now. Alive? Possibly? I hope so. I, Because I always thought... I did think it was really stupid for Byakuya to die like that. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call them clues. Instead, it feels like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking about all these pessimistic thoughts. This might as be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep. Ding dong, bing bong. It's been a while, huh? It's been a while since I've heard this, like normally. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Hey, yo! Hachi may check it out. I'm already eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like the Funhouse again. So I gotta eat when I can. Shit well. Shit well. <laughs> For now. Oh, God. I want a doll that says that. Okay, now that we finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. So tying up Nagito. This is some good stuff here. I like this. Are you really gonna do it? Of course, I spent all night coming up with this plan. That means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my efforts should count for something? Hey, we get it. Hurry up and spill the plan of yours already. Well, I thought of several plans, but in the end, I figured the, that a straightforward plan would be best. Of course, one of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then at the best possible moment, the two uh, task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Right. So that's the plan. What do you think? Um, it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? <laughs> so now I will present uh, each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey. hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Yes. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fujihiko and Akane. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Jeez. Got no choice. You know, and right? the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito, is us. Oh no, Chiaki, I take no it back. Way. What would you just say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey. Hey. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. No. Besides, there's no way I'd ask Missonia to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If my hero was here, she would have beaten you up. Mm. I mean, you did say earlier that you can't, uh, you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey. And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. Right. You're gonna do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sony has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're the tr and you're on chore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Oh, yeah. Denied. Whoa. Why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, uh, he shall accompany me. <laughs> yeah, I get to be with the girl. Yeah, uh, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request. This is an order. Is an order. I tell you, there is somewhere I must go. Uh. Uh. Fine, if Hajime and Miss Sonya are free, it's fine. Good, repeat that. Damn it. <laughs> uh, dang, he's like a dog. Where do you need to go, Sonya? Uh, I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What You're gonna you be say? alone with Hajime at a secret place? Uh, for now, we'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is, your, is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel hobby. Uh, I just said something stupid. In 30 minutes. Lobby. Yeah, sure thing. I gotta say, I get vibed at this music. I love this, this freaking music in this game, man. So good. Hajime, you're late. Uh, I'm right on time. Wait, should I come here a little earlier? A little earlier, I'm on, in my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an abridged meeting time. 
Does it have to be exactly 13 minutes? That is. I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess that can be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well? Of course. It's a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Jabberwock Island's development plan. Did you find something out about it? How should I say this? After reading this document over and over, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. Yeah, that's what they said, didn't they? What if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Yes, the school, obviously. As I recall, the ancient uh, ruin in the second island had a, such a symbol in this door. Yeah, so I'm thinking the first game happened right here. And when they came out, they were on an island. That's what I think happened. The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgotten about it after being locked inside the funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the future foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonya, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. Then I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. Oh, let's go now. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the wheelies. Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt that we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, the door looks pretty high tech. Future, huh? Is this a real gun? Why is this building so important that it requires this much security? There's no mistaking it. The Japanese word for future is inscribed on the door. But this facility, now that I've uh, taken a better look at it... It bears an uncanny resemblance to Hope Speak Academy. Why is that? Because it's, it's gotta be it. Oh, this thing. That's probably it. This is probably the key. The door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. We have discussed this before, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it's possible that we'll be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason that the gun might be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we uh, acted recklessly. That is right, courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest. <laughs> in my country, we use the expression of Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. In order to open the door, we need the password. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive- like a tank! Ah! No, that's impossible. The door looks extremely sturdy. No, I, I vote on the tank plan. I like that. Okay, so I guess we'll find the password. But the problem is, where did we attain the password? We first came here, we, even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. If they really didn't know, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? Game, why must you hide your secrets? Alright, we went back to our house. Okay. Oh, someone, someone's here. Wow. I don't think it's pizza either. Uh, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonya or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened since we arrived. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened the door. Hello there. Oh, well, that's fantastic. <laughs> Nagito, why is he here? You, what are you doing here? You sure ask weird questions. I mean, you guys have all have all business with me, right? Well, Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she said she had something that she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? Oh God, he's so smart. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. And I want you to come to the lobby too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that? Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right. Since you're the only one who is an, isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. You shouldn't take me so seriously. Ah, well, anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm wondering what you guys, what you guys are going to do to me. When we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together, so let's go already. Yeah, before you got all weird on us! Fine, let's go. Yep. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Yeah, your days are over. It's about to go down. What happened, Hajime? Why are you so ner what are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. Hey, you're a terrible actor. Well, if you're gonna slow down like that, I'll go inside first. <laughs> He's so nonchalant, though. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. Ooh! It's all coming. Well, they, just, they did say it was gonna happen. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't judge us for this. But we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up? There's no use struggling! <laughs> but I'm not struggling. Huh? What, what the hell? 
You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. He likes this. I bet you he lives for this you stuff. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? Well, if you were just talking straightforward terms, people wouldn't suspect you. You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin. The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. Okay. And when that... And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the air shook! An explosion of darkness overtook me and I was able to see anything. Is Kazuichi dead? Oh my god, that's exactly what happened to Toko! What the heck? Why are all these incidents happening? I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. Oh my god! What's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. Well, if, if, it, if it goes like the first game, then the cause of which is probably alive. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. Oh my god, what is this guy, Sephiroth? Like, what is this? How did he know this was gonna happen? Did he put a bomb? It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good, scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now, and to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island. Not a bad plan, but also you're crazy. What do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the game. He's planting explosives everywhere. Hey, go blow up the door to the friggin' school so we can get in. The Make yourself useful. I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. An actual I've bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. What the hell are you saying? If you do that... This guy's like the Joker. Of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed, but... There's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Oh, oh, yeah, it's nice to hear that he's alive. Nagito, please stop. Uh, are you crazy or something? Have you guys not figured that out yet? No, that's not it. It's really bothering me that his hair is cut off. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... Ooh. Oh, oh, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? Huh? Is this cliffhanger time? Huh? I don't- but I want to know too! My my! This guy! Oh, is he gonna say it? I'm totally shocked! Seriously, I'm totally shocked! Alright guys, no. No, no. We gotta stop it there. This is the perfect note to end it on, alright? I'm sorry, but let's stop it here. Guys, smash the like if you want to see the next episode, and trust me, I hate this as much as like I like putting myself through this suffering. But this episode is long enough, and uh, wow, what a strange turn of events. I can't wait to see what happens next. Alright, my scrubs, thank you for the support. Keep smashing like and just show me that love. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.